Tonight, a season ends and another begins as free agency gets underway uh, the, earlier this afternoon. Tonight, it's the Pro Bowl, a celebration of all that was great in season 12. There are 56 superstars on this field tonight, and we can't wait to see who's gonna come out a winner. It's Team Sandlin and Team Bentley, and it's the SFL on Twitch.tv, and it starts right now. Welcome to Miami, everybody. Metro Stadium for the Miami Marauders and Houston Oilers. Team Bentley, Team Sandlin, which they'll go by for most of the night. I'm your play-by-play -play commentator, Cameron Irvine, alongside my new partner in crime, Charles Doherty. How you doing, Charles? Oh, I'm living the dream. Let me just say what an honor it is to do uh, broadcast with the icon, the, uh, the fearless leader of the SFL, the Pat Summerall, Howard Cosell. Oh, gee, I'm pinching myself. Denver Nightwing's already in the chat saying Cam's new mic is fantastic and I could not agree more. The uh, coin toss is next as we settle in here in Florida. Second consecutive season that the uh, Pro Bowl has been held in Miami and of course there is old Ron Cochran and look at that. We're showing our off-season rust. Don't need a controllers for the coin toss. What are you doing to me, Charles? It's, you know what? It's Ron Cochran's fault. He's won too many championships. He's out there calling the toss right now. It's the receding hairline. It gets you every time. That's right. That's right. Marauders will defend the north. And we will get underway here on Twitch.tv. It's Team Bentley getting the ball first tonight. And you're watching the SFL Pro Bowl here on Twitch TV. Alongside Xander Gold, Tom Rahman, Sports Fan 39. That real guy and many more. Kick it, we're underway. This a return from Gabriel Manning of San Francisco and it's always a challenge in the first quarter, uh, Charles, to get all these names right. Uh, it, of course, they're all on new rosters with new, uh, with new uniforms and just stuff we're not used to seeing and we're gonna see all these players all night long. Oh, most definitely. Also, I, I don't know what to expect from a coaching standpoint, what the, what the tendencies are for either of these coaches, so it should be exciting. Yeah, uh, Ray Bentley and Zach Sandlin in their debut uh, head coaching games. This is Ron Cochran starting out of the empty here against goal line. What, is, what are they doing? D oh, it's intercepted! Intercepted on the first play and returned back all the way to the 30. That return... Uh, goes to Team Sandlin and Ethan Kai on the first play of the game. Charles, I don't think I've ever seen an interception at a goal line before like that. Uh, me either. I mean, but what a way to open the game. I mean, Ethan Kai steps in there. The pass looks like it was a little underthrown, and the defense was all over it. What a great way to start out this Pro Bowl. Pass intended for, I believe, Bishop Warfield. Yeah, out there, the Baltimore Vulture. And uh, look at Warfield on the sideline. He doesn't know what happened. Ethan Kai representing the St. Louis Gladiators here tonight with an interception on the first play of the Pro Bowl. Unbelievable. As with four wide receivers, Miami's got three to the top of the screen with one in the backfield. The handoff goes right up the middle and bowling over. That's a seven-yard pickup. Uh, bowling down the middle of the field, the 23-yard line of Houston is Jer uh, Jared McChesney of the Denver Nightwings. Uh, Jared Chesney, I, I, what a what a great uh, entry into the Pro Bowl. The uh, season season 12 champion, 174 yards and two touchdowns. Three in the backfield for Team Sandlin here. Off to a strong start. The handoff goes up the middle, and that was fullback Jason Williams on the carry. A Quantas shine on the tackle. I got to bring in uh, I got to bring in Coach Sandlin here. Getting the interception on the first game. You with us, uh, You with us, Zach? Yeah, I'm here. <clears throat> what was that about? The goal line interception? Uh, well, I don't really know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> You're putting Ethan Kai in all sorts of good positions. Third down and three at the 23 here, trying to convert. This is a deep ball. Down the field, it's caught, and it's a touchdown for Miami. That is Jamal Wooding, the Atlanta tight end, getting the score and the first points on the board here in the Pro Bowl. 
Oh, there's some happy Swarm fans right, right now watching that catch of Woody. And he's a rookie this year, his first Pro Bowl. What a way to to start his uh, his career in the in the uh, SFL. Sorry. Bump coverage and Max Jackson got over there late uh, to defend and couldn't do anything about it. And Miami's off to a quick start here. Coach uh, Coach Ray Bentley, are you with us for the first time tonight? Well, I have to be uh, <laughs> at this point. <laughs> You're under contract, right? I, I believe so. Well, so <laughs> hello, Cam. How are you? I, I'm I'm good. <laughs> How are you doing after that opening series? That uh, that was shocking. Well, I'll be completely honest. I told the guys I wanted them to go out there and, and really, you know, electrify the crowd, but I didn't mean in a good way because we're the away team, so we should we should be uh, spooking them, not thrilling them. We'll catch up with Coach ben, uh, Bentley and Coach Sandlin all throughout the night. Xander Gold with the 1,200 bits for the first touchdown thrown in the Pro Bowl. We appreciate that. We will have free agent signings at random throughout the night. Even I won't know who's going to be next announced here on the show gabriel manning look at the speed from manning he almost got away knocked down at the 30 yard line uh, wrapped up here we're going to see some bizarre special team that was rich pratchard of the oklahoma city renegades on that tackle and you're going to see a lot of superstars playing special teams tonight charles i love it most definitely gabriel manning had four kickoff returns this year which is outstanding kickoff returns for touchdowns i'm sorry those socks are throwing me off <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bright pink socks. T. Patternitty saying Zach doing his best Kawhi interview impression. I agree. Oh, knocked away, and then a hit down the field. That pass was swatted away by Avery King. He's a Queen City Corsair, and it's second down and 10. By the way, uh, I did mention it once, but I want to mention it again. Xander Gold with that touchdown pass uh, to start the Pro Bowl. He's picking up right where he left off in the postseason. Four wide, that's Warfield in the slot left. I believe Siege Falco's there to the bottom of your screen. It's a nickel look for Miami. And stepping up, Mike Dazzo off the back of his foot. That pass is tipped up in the air and incomplete. It's gonna bring up third down and 10, Sir Chappelle of Tallahassee on the coverage on Warfield. And Warfield's been a target early and often from his teammate, Mike Dazzo, but nothing going for Team Bentley. Yeah, I don't think we've had a run yet, Cam, have we, for, uh, for Team uh, Bentley? Yeah, you would be correct, and you almost wonder if we're in for a, one of those bizarre games where, <laughs> where we have just we just decide to throw all night. This is Ron Cochran out of the gun. Cochran's in trouble, gets away from one, and then blown up for an eight-yard loss in the backfield. All-star defensive lineman tonight, and that's Denzel Maverick of the now, now Seattle Tyrants making the sack, and it's fourth and eighteen. Yeah, another rookie coming in and showing up in the Pro Bowl. I'm uh, I'm a little shocked at. Uh, how one-sided it's been so far. So the punt will come from Ray, or Team Ray, I should say. The punt actually coming from uh, Dustin McRack, who's wearing number eight tonight. Coming after that one, Miami can't get to it. Hang time there at the bottom right of your screen from the 31-yard line. And a wrap-up by Max Jackson in special teams. On the return, Jeff Malinishin, a dangerous returner. And before we get to more about the Pro Bowlers on this team. Our first free agent signing is, I'm telling you, I really don't know who it's going to be. It's Shea Carroll going to Charleston, a value of 75.91 at receiver. So Shea Carroll returning to his roots, and the Charleston Predators have their first free agent signing of the season. First and 10 at the 34, now with 8.49 to go. Tom Pepper hands the ball off for a one-yard pickup. And that carry again from McChesney. We haven't gotten to talk yet, Charles, about the biggest storyline tonight, and that is Zach Sandlin playing against himself. Can you tell me how this is working tonight? I don't know how. It's, I don't know how. How do you coach against yourself? That, yeah, that, I'm still scratching my head it's over this one. It's that, creativity. That's what it that is. That and the sock so far are the big two things in my mind. <laughs> coach, coach Bentley uh, electing to take Sandlin first overall and really confuse everybody at home. This run off to the right side is uh, cleaned up by Reggie Streeter, the London Knight, a four-yard pickup. That was big, sexy Alex Dominguez out there on that tackle. So, Charles, what are you uh, most looking forward to out of this Pro Bowl here tonight? Is there a player you think... Uh, is just going to burst on the scene this evening? 
Well, I was going to say that uh, I thought that the Bentley secondary, primarily the cornerbacks, were uh, you know a cut above the rest as far as uh, just from a pure skill standpoint. But uh, I may have to back off on that one. Two receivers, or three receivers rather, two in the backfield. That throw to the outside is to Deezer Pal from the New Orleans Pharaohs. And I'm going to have to do a better, uh, better job. Check that. That may have been Brett Killian. The twos and sevens looking a little like it is short of the first down. So Robert Berger will come out to punt it away from Miami. But um, yeah, there's lots of interchanging quarterbacks here tonight. And I think the hardest job of the evening goes to our stat man, Andy Hamilton. He's tracking quarterbacks right now. Ron Cochran's 0 for 2. Dazzo's 0 for 1. Gold is 1 for 1. And Tom Pepper's also 1 for 1 as Berger punts it away. First stop of the game for Team Bentley and from the 19 yard line, that's Jackson, but only got one yard on the return. Fast and furious, Charles, here in our first game together. Definitely. I'm excited. I mean, that was a good that was a good series for Team Bentley. They needed to slow down the uh, the Sandlin offense. So uh, hopefully they're settling in here and uh, they'll start playing on the same gear as uh, as Team Sandlin is. So Zach Sandlin takes off the headset. He's now back on the field. Uh, for Team Bentley, there's two in the backfield. One might be him. This is Dazzo again on the throw. Oh, what a hit! Beautiful hit by Crash Combs, and they say he can't cover. Are you kidding me? Crash Combs doing, uh, putting in some work here. Look at this again. It has it was perfect timing. He hit the wide receiver right when the ball was getting into his uh, his bread box, and uh, Seems to me that uh, that team uh, Bentley is a little bit uh, rusty, trying to trying to get into uh, rhythm here, and I don't think they found it yet. Coach Sandlin, I, I thought Crash couldn't cover, man. What do you what are you feeding this guy? Um, he can't cover. I told you, he's he can hit people. That's about all he's good at. So, that's man, you're, you're stone cold, <laughs> man. This guy's gonna make three interceptions tonight. And you're still gonna say he can't cover. Second and ten from the twenty seven thirteen to go in the first quarter, and another big hit from Miami. That in the backfield for a one yard loss is Gib Ledoux of Tulsa. Also on the play may have been Levant Irvine as well. The Vancouver Legion linebacker, at least from season 12. I mean, I believe that was Colin Hart trying to take it up the middle. So Hart gets his first carry. Good eye on you. Third and 11 at the 19. Cochran again trying to bail him out on third and long and can't do it. A combo sack from Ledoux and Maverick. They are eating in the backfield. Another fourth and 18 coming up. And Team Bentley is having lots of struggles tonight. Yeah, Sandlin, Sandlin is fluck, flexing his, flexing, I can't speak, flexing his muscles out on the field. It seems like any, everything they try to do, that Sandlin's got an idea to, uh, to stop them right in their tracks. 6.25 to go in the first. Chat shout outs to Alex D4210. He's got uh, a, at least one tackle here so far tonight. Swole 2011 is in the chat. Vancouver Legion is in the chat as that punt is away. Base scout. Brown Knights. Justin J has a big hit at the 39 yard line. Puts down Team Sandlin. Our next free agent signing of the night belongs to London. Trevor Farrell moving to tight end for the London Knights. What do you think of that, Charles? Oh, that's a big, big, uh, it's a big sign there, but maybe not so much for the rookies that want to get signed as a tight end. One more tight end slot off the board. And these are unofficial, by the way. The league has not gotten a chance to, uh, uh, to make sure all these numbers are 100% accurate. We're just trying to give you a tease here on this very, very busy day. In the SFL as Jason Williams caught that pass out of the backfield and picks up five. Yeah, Jason Williams right. came off a, a great uh, playoff, especially in the championship game. He, I, he was uh, 116 yards and one touchdown and really helped uh, Alaska get the win. There's three in the backfield now for Miami. Another handoff to the fullback. They are using Jason Williams early and often here in this Pro Bowl, a two yard gain. Up to the 46, we're halfway through the first quarter, and Team Sandlin has a one touchdown lead. I would, I'd keep uh, like just like uh, uh, Sandlin's doing. I would keep both a fullback and a running back out there to keep their head on a swivel. Third and three, three receivers, two to the 
Far right side, bottom of your screen, and the hand of, oh, what a hit! And still moving down to the 44-yard line of Houston. That, I believe, was McChesney, as he's a little slow to get up, but McChesney making things happen up the middle for Team Samlin. Yeah, he plowed up the middle, hit about four or five guys before, uh, uh, it looks like Gustafson brought him down. That was Nick Fargo. After Far a first down. Yeah, Nick Fargo, man, come on, man. You could tackle better than that, Nick. I think he's in the chat, too. I think I saw him earlier oh. giving him a hard time. <laughs> 447 to go in the first. Let us know how we're sounding in the chat. New audio equipment here. Cam Cam needs to make its debut here shortly, but we've had plenty to talk about. Tom Pepper hands it off to McChesney. That's a two-yard gain. And what's interesting so far in the first quarter, Team Sandlin is 3 for 3 passing, and Team Bentley's 0 for 4. Yeah, Team Bentley doesn't have an answer at all to this uh, flamingo-colored offense. I mean, they're, uh, they're running at will, and I'm surprised with uh, Dominguez and Bain up front. Doesn't look like they're able to stop the running game. And Meandies Laundry on the field for the first time tonight. Long pass is intercepted, so that's going to be wiped away. That's Giovanni Bolt making the pick for Houston, but it's uh, going to go away, unfortunately. That uh, offside on Kevin Bain. Come on, Kevin. It's the Pro Bowl, man. This guy, this guy just fresh off a title, jumping offsides. Maybe it was too much partying after the championship. I think it might have been, or here in Miami, for that matter. Well, that's true. Cameron Irvine, Charles Doherty here with you on the Pro Bowl night of the SFL. Split backs, and Pepper will hand it off again. Short of the first down. That's Williams getting yet another carry. Williams' third carry of the night. Streeter has three carries, and McChesney has four. Been a very balanced offense so far for Team Sandlin. Now it looks like Slim Shady got the stop there. Maybe, uh, maybe they're starting to get into a little groove here. This is a big down for them. Seven in the box for Team Bentley. In need of a stop just outside of field goal range. They're not going to get one. Nice hurdle in the backfield. And that belonged to McChesney. McChesney's running hard. Five carries in the first quarter. Came up two points shy of a championship. Did you get a chance to watch that live, Charles? What a game. Oh, most definitely. Yeah, that was a great game. I mean, it was, I think it was the first uh, bowl game I've ever seen where it was snowing. Four receivers. Three to the right side. A four... I believe that's Pepper standing back there. Going to hand it off again. Streeter bouncing off the first tackler. That was Dominguez. And then Anthony Wyo and Giovanni Bolt there to bring him down. Wyo playing last season in Vegas, Bolt in Baltimore. Yeah, I'd be curious to see what the time of possession is for, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, for uh, Team Sandlin here. Looks like they've had the ball the entire half. Yeah, they're really milking it. They've got 3, 6, 9, 14. Uh, offensive plays, just five for Team Bentley as Williams again takes it up the middle and gets it to a third and short situation. He may get it again. Zach, I got to bring you back in here. Is this what you envisioned out of your offense? You are, you are just blood-sucking right now. This is exactly what I wanted to do. I've got two, three great uh, backfield threats that, you know, can try to control the pace of the game, get – Ray Bentley trying to pack the box against these guys and then just take shots down the field with this amazing wide receiving and quarterback duo that I've got. Handoff got a first down just outside, although nice closing speed there by Jackson. Trying to see who that was getting up. That was Reggie Streeter of London getting the first down. A minute and a half to go in the first quarter. Fast moving quarter. Yeah, I think that was his first carry of the game, was it not? For Streeter? Four carries, six yards. Oh, there you go. For Reggie Streeter as Williams gets yet another carry. So what's interesting here is if Bentley can play Ben but don't break defense, could get out of this with a field goal, only be down 10. Amon takes with that last tackle. He recently re-signed with the Vultures. All right, under a minute to go here in quarter number one. The home team from Miami is on the move. Coached by Zach Sandlin, Crash Combs was there to assist the Seattle Bunch. It's re-signed re a bunch 
here in this offseason so far. McChesney takes another handoff. So third and seven, it's going to force a pass. A perfect three for three so far for Golden Pepper combined. Well, you know, if I was Team Bentley, I'd, I'd send them all at the quarterback. Why not? I mean, you've got some studs up there on the line. Gold's only pass tonight was a touchdown for 23 yards. This is Pepper throwing, and it's knocked away. And better hands were needed there from Nick Fargo, but he was quick to jump on it. And what do you know? Team Bentley gets the stop and will send on Kramer Jackman, the Denver Nightwings kicker, to try to get our first field goal of the Pro Bowl. Kramer Jackman, another rookie in this game. I think we have 12 rookies that'll be, that are suited up for today's game. That's awesome, man. When you consider, I mean, 12 out of 56 players, brand new to the league, had a good enough year to be a pro bowler. All you rookies out there who are eagerly awaiting the rookie showcase on Thursday, uh, this, is, this is living proof that you can be one of the best right out of the gate. 34-yard field goal, a little slow to develop, but that is up and good, and Miami takes a 10-0 lead over Houston. Have a look at it. Now, Kramer Jackman was perfect all season, and he's uh, keeping it up here. That one just squeaking inside, that right upright, and boy, we haven't hardly seen Ron Cochran, Mike Dazzo on the field. Zach Sandlin, <laughs> Zach Sandlin does not have a carry. The, <laughs> the MVP playing against himself does not have a carry. Who would have, uh, who would have thought? They've only handed it off one time today. Yeah, and it didn't go well. Colin Hart dropped for a loss of a yard. This is Gabe Hernandez on the return, and he is smoked. That's Reggie Streeter playing special teams. And Manning is cropped down at the, or chopped down at the 21-yard line. Ten seconds left in the quarter. And we'll see what Team Bentley can try to work a straight here. They have had a rough go of it. There's yeah, they got to do something and, and quick. There's a look at EJ DeCue of Tallahassee rocking the one-bar face mask. Three receivers and two in the backfield for Keith Bentley. The handoff will go to Sandlin for the first time tonight. Sandlin will pick up, no, check that, Colin Hart will pick up one, and that'll be the end of the quarter of play. So it was kind of one-sided. Uh, Team Sandlin all over Team Bentley here early, 10-0. The boys in powder blue and red got to get it going. This is the SFL Pro Bowl on Twitch TV. Second and nine, Cochran's going to complete the first pass of the night for Team Bentley. That's out to Hart, pickup of two. Third down and seven coming up. This is a critical third down, trying to get some momentum here. Yeah, I think they should have gone to Hart a little bit more. Uh, he's a great receiver out of the backfield. He's got, uh, in the playoffs, he had 450 yards rushing, six touchdowns and one reception for a touchdown. So he had a great playoff. Third and seven at the 24. Welcome inside our SFL headquarters. This is Gazzo, what a bullet. First down to the 35, an 11 yard pickup on a third down and seven. That's. Two vultures connecting. Bishop Warfield with the first catch of the night for Team Bentley. Yeah, that was definitely a laser. And yeah, another rookie stepping up. This is so far, this is the, we should call this the rookie showcase game. That was Aaron Arrington flying into your picture. He, boy, I tell you what, Baltimore just, just has his number as of late. As he couldn't get a hand on that one. Two receivers. Three receivers, uh, excuse me, two in the backfield for Team Bentley as Dazzo again with a pocket collapsing, fires to Warfield for a first down and a pickup of 12. So Bishop Warfield is all over the field so far for Team Bentley. He has been the offense as Shacker three gives 200 bits for Camp Cam. Yeah, an impressive pass by, by uh, Dazzo. Dazzo. First and 10 at the 47, 9.36 to go in the first half. Two receivers either side, Nickel look for Miami. Dropping back deep is Dazzo, he'll fire it short. That's Warfield again. Four yard pickup, Warfield with three consecutive receptions. And for the first time tonight, Team Bentley is in Team Sandlin territory. Well, why not? If you can't stop him, just uh, keep throwing it to the rookie. So maybe we can get some points on the board. 
9-10 to go. And I believe, uh, getting word, maybe that was Ron Cochran that was throwing. That's, that's my fault. I could have sworn that was Dazzo. Am I seeing things out there? You know, no, I thought that was number, I thought I saw seven. But you know what? Again, I'm going back to the Sox, Cam. It it's, keeps throwing me off. It's always a very confusing night in the Pro Bowl. I think we're going to go more uh, theme neutral next year. <laughs> uh, but it's fun. We like to have fun here. Three receivers and the handoff going to... Uh, that was uh, Sandlin on the outside, and he gets buried. So it's going to be fourth down. And as I, there we go. Sorry about the loss of internet there just for a moment, but we're back. Charles, you still with us? Yeah, I'm here. All right. Yeah, fourth down. Uh, if you missed that play, the handoff went to Zach Sandlin uh, for the first time tonight, or for the, just the second time tonight. And uh, he ended up losing about three on the play, and Team Bentley stalls out. And now they're kicking it to Malenishin. He's he's dangerous. Let's uh, let's see what we can do on this. He's gonna, well. let it, he's gonna let it go. It's gonna roll into the end zone. That brings us to our next free agent signing, which is oh come on, are you kidding me? Out of out of 26 different signings, it's gonna come on. Give us an, give us another one, random generator. Who do we got? Who do we got here? Who's going someplace different? Wow. Mike Fats Johnson is going to Houston at defensive tackle. What a huge signing for the Hyenas. They already have Chad Tackle. And now they're getting Mike Johnson on the line. This is a deep ball from uh, Team Sandlin. And that pass is caught at the 39-yard line. A 19-yard pickup by Brett Killian for a first down. Yeah, it looked like the throw was up a little high, but Brent went up there and brought it down. That was a great catch there. It was good coverage, but uh, again, you put it up high where the cornerback can't get it. Max Jackson, another tackle here. He's been all over the field. Just has not been able to uh, get a hand on the football. McChesney, 28 yards on six carries. And with two backs and two receivers, Team Sandlin is back to work again. This is, I believe, Pepper throwing it into coverage, and Amon takes, nearly got the interception, looking for Rich Pratchard down the middle of the field, and it's second and 10 coming up. Yeah, it looks like they were faking blitz and uh, went back into coverage, and I might have uh, thrown the quarterback off a little bit, and uh, thankfully it, uh, there wasn't an interception. Second, and 10. second down with 7.22 to go. Three receivers. Four. That's definitely Tom Pepper out there wearing 16. The MVP candidate from the Vancouver Legion had his best season of his career coming back for more in season 13. Nice stiff arm there from McChesney. He'll pick up five to the 44-yard line of Miami. Sets up third and five. Yeah, I'm surprised that it doesn't look like either coach is using that play. I thought we'd see a more uh, more of that with the you know with the stud uh, running backs they've got on their roster. Xander Gold right now leading all passers with 42 yards on two for two uh, completions. Wooding, of course, with that 23-yard touchdown, he leads all receivers. Third and five at the 44. Quick drop back and a fire outside of Williams. Williams in a race for the first down stick, and he won't get there as Thomas Raman Jr. of the Las Vegas Fury comes down with a tackle and gets the stop. Man, Raman Jr. was outstanding this season in Las Vegas. He was fun to watch. Yeah, he brought down a beast, too. I mean, uh, Jason Williams is not an easy man to bring down, and he wrapped him up. Uh, great fundamentals brought him down. Robert Berger will punt it away for Team Sandlin. So this has turned into, we had a touchdown very early in the ball game, and this has turned into a very defensive battle here as these offenses are still trying to figure out these superstar defenses out there as Jackson returns up to the 19-yard line with 6.09 to go in the first half. TMG82 in the chat, what's up T-Roy? Ashley Jackson in there, Swole 2011, DR Sim 80 is in the house. The doctor getting re-signed earlier today officially and already a big night for Houston is Johnson going to Houston from Las Vegas. And really the first big splash of free agency here tonight. That is a wobbly pass from Cochran. It's incomplete. 
Kaz McFly in on the coverage. Man, Baltimore, I think, Charles, man, they're winning this Pro Bowl right now. They are everywhere. Yeah, they're really stepping up. And that was uh, that was a, a pass by Cochran that you don't see very often. I, in, the, in the playoffs, he had a 82% completion percentage, which is insane. This is Dazzo out of the gun now with three receivers. Warfield has been his man tonight. Three receptions for 27 yards. And look at Warfield with one hand. That's about the prettiest three-yard reception you'll ever see, third and six. And it looks, so that was, uh, <laughs> I could have sworn on that last pass that was Cochran. I, I could have sworn I saw three in the huddle, but hey, my mind's playing tricks on me. Sorry about that. Maybe I'm just rusty. I have to rely on my stat man here. Andy's really saving us. Ron Cochran, three for six. Dazzo, two for four, unofficially. And this is Dazzo with a deep drop back. Fires down the field and knocked away. Really nice job by Crash Combs. All right, come on, Zach. Come back in. This guy can't cover? Well, okay. I'll give him some credit. He can cover a little bit every once in a while. <laughs> gets, uh, gets Team Bentley off the field again. Coach, Coach Bentley, what's going on with this offense? They are struggling out there. It, again, you said it earlier in the game. We're in Miami. It's it's very hard to spend a whole week here and not have the the sun's rays just soak into your brain. And I, I think that's what's going on. But the defense is is starting to click. I think things are coming together there. So we still got a half a game to play. I just want to say, twenty eight and three. All right, that's to to all the naysayers right now. Sorry to all the Atlanta Falcons fans out out there. That was, that was cold, Ray, but I appreciate it as a Packer fan. Really appreciate that. Four receivers for Xander Gold. Gold is a perfect three for three tonight. 44 yards and a touchdown. Four receivers, Gold straight back. Fires a quick slant. Passes complete over the middle for a six-yard pickup. There's a look at Gold's updated numbers. That's the other 15 in this Pro Bowl. Mickey Martino of the, Van, of the uh, Vancouver Legion on that catch. Yeah, that looks like that was Martino's first catch of the game. Yeah, for sure. Six yards up the middle. Jen Jen. I, I see a Jen Jen in the chat. Which is, I don't know how you come up with this stuff. McChesney picks up a couple. A Quanta shine there on the wrap-up. What a beast. He re-signed today with Atlanta. Yeah, he has a record for uh, solo tackles this uh, season 11, I believe, in 109. I think he's had it's something crazy. I don't know if he got it this year. He can probably help it out, help me out in the chat. I think he's had like three or four straight 100 yard, uh, 100 tackle seasons. He's just been an absolute monster. Third and two at the 42 with three in the backfield. Everybody's stacking the box. They're gonna throw for it and hit it as he threw. He's gonna throw it away. Trying to see that was Xander Gold's first incomplete pass. Boy, Team Bentley was not fooling around there. Ray, I gotta, you got to love that. That was the best defensive play of the day for your squad. And again, I, I said defense is clicking, and they heard me, and they knew that the click was the good one and not the torture chamber because, ooh, boy, I was getting that one ready, but thank God. The click in the torture chamber. You're going to have to explain more. We're, we're knee-deep in this one. So here's the thing. The more I say about what's going to happen, the less fun there is when we get there. So I like to keep an air of mystery about it. All right, to the fourth quarter we go. Everybody stay tuned for the clicking in the torture chamber. Free agent signings. Hey, look at that. Houston got another one. Anthony Wyo sniped from Las Vegas. And Frank Champion from Vancouver is going to Alaska. A couple of big signings there. What a get for Alaska, Frank Champion, the longtime Vancouver Legion player. Anthony Wyo also going to Houston. So the Houston Hyenas really putting in some work here in free agency as Gabriel Manning gets his first catch of the night for five. Yeah, I think that's great that we're able to do those free agent signings. I'm, uh, I'm excited every time that pops up. We've got a couple guys in this game that are looking to be signed. Yeah, we just never know. We get, we have some free agents out there on the field right now. I I uh, I might know more than most, so I, I try to caution myself when I'm saying who they play for. And uh, so far, no slip-ups except uh, trying to figure out who's a quarterback tonight as 
That's going to be a <laughs> loss for Colin Hart. Colin Hart is really struggling here in this Pro Bowl, as is Sandlin. This, this uh, Miami defense has been ridiculously due living in the backfield. I don't believe uh, I don't believe Colin Hart's been signed yet. Maybe he's thinking too much about a contract. That's true. It might be in somebody's inbox wherever he goes. 325 to go in the first half. 10 nothing. Another third. Darren and a sack for Lee Do. Gibley Do representing the Tulsa Desperados with pride tonight for sure. One and a half sacks so far. And Team Bentley is just just hemorrhaging out there offensively. They have negative three yards rushing and just 39 yards passing. Yeah, that sucking sound is the momentum that's slipping away from uh, Team Bentley in this first half. Yeah, we're not gonna go to Bentley to describe the sucking yeah. sound either. We're gonna leave that one alone. <laughs> that's returned up to the 32 yard line. Jeff Malinishin on that return. So 2.51 to go in the first half. This has been, quite frankly, just a a bit of a bizarre way this half has transpired. We had the interception on the very first play of the game, then a touchdown followed a couple yeah. plays later, and since then we've been moving pawns on a chessboard. Well, you know, Sandlin's going to have to you know, keep it, keep at it and put some more points on the board because with the talent on the other side, they could turn it around real quick. Pepper's at quarterback. He's three for five, but for 15 yards. One receiver either side going to hand it off running left. That's McChesney on the carry. Picks up four. Amon takes and a Quanta Shine combined for the stop. So I believe that's Chesney's eighth carry. He's got uh, 32, 32 yards, about a four yard per carry average. Not uh, not what we're used to, but again, he's he's running up against some beasts. Three receivers, nickel look for Team Bentley. Press coverage at the line, but still gonna throw it for a first down. Running inside, that was Deezer Powell, and he ran, check that, that was Brett Killian. He ran a beautiful route, uh, despite the traffic early on in that route. Yeah, beautiful route, great placement by the quarterback. All, right. it was all together, I think, uh, great protection on the offensive line. I think the whole offensive team, hats off to you. That's the quip two-minute warning here in the SFL Pro Bowl, 10-0. Team Sandlin on top of Team Bentley. Team Bentley, they just need some type of momentum. Bishop Warfield has 31 of their 36 oh. yards of offense, uh, which is they're, just shocking. Uh, they're holding guys like Dominguez and Baines and Tackle and Check, and I'm, I'm shocked we don't have at least one, one sack by any of those guys. Yeah, that's, that's true. Two minutes to go in the first half. First and 10, back to throw. This is Pepper getting sick. Nope. Oh, you go. cursed him. You broadcast jinxed him in your first game with me, Charles. I can't believe you just did that as big, sexy Alex Dominguez gets in there for the stop again. Just don't put Sandlin on the uh, live mic right now. <laughs> Why not? Well, I don't know. Maybe you know. Maybe uh, you'll have to get your uh, your beeps ready because there might be some words thrown oh, out there. Oh, oh, I see. Yes, yes, Sandlin. There may be some young'uns listening to this. Yeah, Sam. He just said, "Please don't" in our in our uh, yeah. chat here. This is a deep ball down the field. It is caught in traffic for a first down to the 44-yard line. That's Jamal Wooding again with the reception. Now, just before the end of the first half, Team Sandlin is moving. Another rookie catching it, and a good way to respond to that uh, by that sack by T Team Bentley. They got to get down the down the, the, the oh my God, down the field here and get uh, some points on the board. Gets him to the Houston 44. Look at McChesney. Get off me! Just about everybody down to the 26-yard line, a 18-yard gain. No huddle here. 55 seconds to go. Nickel look. For Team Sandlin, on the move, out to McChesney. How much more does he have left in the tank? Not much, he's gang tackled in the backfield. Leading the charge was Kevin Bain. And there's 40 seconds left to go. Trying to get some last minute points before the half. Fires it again out to McChesney into the backfield. And he's near a first down. Miami's gonna burn a timeout. Yeah, they're in field goal range, so it looks like uh, they're digging it a little deeper and deeper for Team Bentley. Uh, McChesney out of nowhere, 50 yards on nine carries. He now has 13 receiving yards. So 63 all-purpose yards leads all players outside of Xander Gold, who has 69 yards on five of six passing. Third and two, the only pass that was incomplete was the one he threw away on that third down pressure. 
This pass from Pepper to the outside for a first down. That's Williams again. Williams gets his third reception, and that's the fifth catch by backs out of the backfield tonight for Miami. They're down to one timeout. Yeah, that's that's scary. Again, Williams is scary coming out of the field. He can do everything. And also, uh, looks like Xander's QB rating is off the charts. It's like 154. Yeah, he's basically got a perfect rating at the moment. Just under the perfect QBR. 29 seconds to go in the first half. As Gold taking his time, dropping back the throw, and is going to be sacked. That sack in the backfield by Dominguez. Time is ticking away. Gold is still at quarterback for the five-yard loss, second and 15 from the 18. Gold back to throw, go into the end zone. It's caught for a touchdown. That is Brett Killian, and it's a 16-0 advantage for Miami. <laughs> that big play, they did what we uh, told them they needed to do. They're digging the hole deeper and deeper, and uh, that was a perfect play. Xander Gold is on fire tonight. That's a New Orleans Pharaoh to, or, to Vancouver Legion connection as Killian scores the first touchdown of his night. Wooding and Killian, each with a score, each over 40 yards receiving, and Xander Gold right now, five of six, 87 yards, couple of touchdowns as well. And that, might, that number actually might be six of seven. Is that extra point is good. It's 17-0 Miami. And Team Bentley is having some problems. Hey, I can't wait to hear uh, t uh, Coach Bentley on uh, his uh, approach for the second half here. Kramer Jackman will boot it away. What is the approach, Ray, for the second half? What do we got? Well, everything's on fire. And we're going to go ahead and try to either put that fire out or I've heard that you can fight fire with fire. So I've actually called in a bunch of flame elementals to show up and fingers crossed that'll, that'll get us going, put a little heat under our feet. An either or situation going on in the Team Bentley locker room at the half. I mean, it's, it's pretty crazy. I mean, they've got the three-time champion. They've got the league's all-time leading passer. They've got the MVP. This team should be in, and Gabriel Manning, by the way, just one catch for five yards. Junior, senior, the third, Optimus Klein, Mike Daggs, Tiberius Bovine, they have not caught a pass in the first half. The handoff goes to Sandlin. He ruins somebody, and that'll end the first half. Didn't get a chance to see who that was. Probably a good idea that I did not. And that is the end of the first half of play. It is all Team Sandlin, 17 nothing at the break. We bring in... Coach Sandlin now to talk about that first half. What do you think? Xander Gold has been on fire. This is exactly what I was game planning for, guys. I mean, I want I wanted to come in, establish this ground and pound, take control of the game. There's your TOP, the Charles. Just throw it down the field and have at it, and that's exactly what they've done. It all um, started with that Ethan Kai interception. That really, I mean, it really set the tone. It really did, and I honestly don't know why I decided to call goal line against five wide, but apparently it worked something, so. Hey, how about some free agent signings while we're here at the half? We've got Mike Osai going to Tulsa. He has played in Dallas for quite some time. He is now going to be a desperado. Justin Jones moving from San Francisco to Denver. Nice pickup by the Nightwings. What do you think of those two signings out of uh, Tulsa and Denver, Charles? Yeah, I think both teams automatically get better. I mean, that's kind of scary to say when you put uh, Denver in that conversation. Max Jackson has eight solo tackles at the half. He is dominating for Team Bentley, uh, despite them being down by 17. I want to bring in our stat man here as we start the second half, Andy Hamilton, by chance. you want? Do you have any thoughts on the signing so far? He might have unplugged his mic. That's what you get for being uh, spontaneous. Uh, you got me? There you go, Andy. I got you. I mean, when I was running to get a snack in the middle of the uh, halftime break there, I had run to the concession stand to grab some popcorn. Yeah, I'm full of surprises. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Uh, I, you know, it's it's very tough to lose uh, Frank Champion to Alaska. I think that's a big pickup for them. Uh, Frank's always been a good locker room guy, um, and Alaska picked up a really good linebacker that's going to help them. Andy, keep uh, holding it down on stats, will you? It's, uh, it's, it's rough out there. Yeah, I look like uh, Zach Galifianakis in The Hangover with all the math going in front of my head. Two touchdowns, though, for Xander Gold. Don't need a lot of math to know that. He has been impressive as usual. Con Cockle with a 10.7 QBR in the first half. That pass incomplete from Gold as Kevin Bain gets in his face. Bain has not uh, re-signed yet with Alaska. He may be going someplace else. Cameron Irvine, Charles Dockerty with you here on the SFL Pro Bowl on Twitch. We're announcing free agent signings throughout the night. And shout out to all 94 of you currently watching at this very moment here on this wonderful Pro Bowl night. Three in the backfield for Miami, whose own momentum from the beginning. A nice little flip out to Williams, not fooled. Was Slynn Shady with his first wrap up of the night, uh, the London Knight getting involved. Hey, Team Bentley, they're down by 17. I mean, at this point, uh, I, I, th I think they should just throw, throw everything they got at the quarterback. I mean, they've got some of the best uh, rushers in the league. I mean, why not? Mike Osai going to Tulsa as Gold is going to settle in the pocket. Oh, it's intercepted. Intercepted at the 40 and on the return is Houston all the way down to the 29-yard line. That is Jacob Gustafson with the interception. The San Francisco Shark getting some momentum for Team Bentley. Yeah, that was a big interception and they get the ball back and uh, they're actually automatically in field goal range. So that's a great uh, place to start. And let's see again if they can break the uh, goose egg and get some points on the board. They were looking for Martino, and I got to bring Ray in here, man. I, it sounds like uh, you decided not to fight fire with fire. Well, that's, again, when we got in the locker room, they heard the clicking, and it, it's all they got to hear, <laughs> and they know. They know what's going on, but here we go. I'm in field goal range. I clearly want to give Miami the ball back. This is so the exact same thing to start the game. No, you're not going to give it back to him. You got a four-yard pickup there. And look at that. That's Mike Daggs, the ATM, with his first catch of the night. Four-yard gain, second and six. Yeah, it's amazing. We didn't see more tight end action this game, uh, especially when you got a guy like Mike Daggs there. He, his percentage of completions is incredible. You throw it to him, and his hands are like glue. Second down and six. Some momentum for Houston. Cochran, deep throw in zone. Oh, he overthrew. Gabriel Manning is intended target. And that's just that's just the that's just a chemistry thing, Charles, right? I mean, they they've never played together. Yeah, I'm shocked. Uh, <laughs> I had to check the number. I wasn't sure if that was uh, Ron Cochran or some other Ron, because I, I I don't see that from him ever. Ron Burgundy? Yeah, Ron Burgundy. I had to think of a Ron, thanks. <laughs> Out there slinging the rock. <laughs> Four receivers now on a third down and six. Team Bentley trying to keep up the momentum. This is Cochran on the throw, going long again. Same play, and it's a touchdown for Houston. The pass is caught by Siege Falco, and we've got points on the board for Team Bentley. There you go. Brush the dust off, you know, the margaritas, whatever he's, he's had in Miami, and just uh, just get back to form. All right, Ray, you got a touchdown. Siege Falco from Ron Cochran, the three-time champ, getting it done. That, that was beautiful, and now my hands are in so much pain from clapping so hard. I'm amazed I have a voice to shout with. You're not, oh, you mean on the field. I, are you, are you saying off. you're shouting right now? I, well, again, I, I had to drive all the way out to my mother's to do this as my power was out, so I'm screaming my head off out here in the country. <laughs> 9.40 to go in the third quarter. Coach Sandlin, what was all that about? It's a ball game now. Most certainly is. That was just a wonderful pass. Uh, three guys, three of my defenders are right there, so... Props to Cochran for fitting that one in there. I don't know how he manages to do that sometimes. On the return, Arrington blasted by Kabir Carson. 
a player out there that uh, is not a part of regular SFL circles, which is unusual for the Pro Bowl. 17-7, 9.36 to go in the third. And things are getting interesting. Nickel look. And Gold going to throw against it. It's tipped and nearly intercepted. Mickey Martino was there again on the coverage. Jacob Gustafson, who had the first interception. Yeah, it looks like they only sent four people in there, and they got uh, some a little bit of pressure on the quarterback. Uh, you know, like my earlier comments, I'd, I'd send an extra guy at least on every down at this point. T. Patterniti in the chat saying, Ron Cochran saying is uh, we better spot him three scores to make it fair. <laughs> <laughs> that would that would be a typical Ron Cochran performance if he were to come back and throw all the touchdowns. He's five of ten for forty-one yards and that score. Three in the backfield again for Miami. The handoff on second down and ten, not going anywhere. As Reggie Streeter was the man on the carry, a Quanta Shine coming off the outside to make the tackle. Yeah, tackling machine. Uh, he had uh, a record for solo tackles in uh, season 11 with 109. Yeah, these guys on uh, the Bentley team, they're great tacklers and they put a lot of pressure on the quarterback. You know, it'd be great if they kept doing that. Third and 13 now. I haven't seen Team Sandlin involved in this very much. Xander Gold, deep ball, fires down the field. The pass is caught at the 32 yard line for a first down. So Gold shakes off a little bit of rust. And Brett Killian was the man to receive it. Yeah, let's see if he gets uh, gets a foot in. I think so. I think he got a couple. Nice catch. And a great throw, too. That's now 60 yards for Brett Killian. And trying to figure out who's the uh, MVP so far on the Sandlin side. Yeah, that's a tough one. It probably gold at this point although that interception didn't help his cause this is gold again on first down that's caught over the defense for a first down to the 47 yard line and that's a reception for Tristan Carr first of the night yeah using those tight ends Wooding had his uh, shot in the end zone you got to uh, spread the love around and give some to Carr 825 to go in the third quarter here on Pro Bowl night on Twitch Gold hit as he threw. McChesney gets rid of Holly. He just <laughs> embarrasses people sometimes. That was Bolt who got bolted out of your picture. Seven yard pickup. Yeah, he just he just uh, used the anvil and just pushed it down the down the field. That's that's hey. incredible. Under eight to go in the third. Again, the heavy set. We've seen this a lot out of Miami. Big second and short. Heading into Houston territory. And off Williams. Williams, I don't know how he got through there and got the first down. Chad Tackle left bewildered. And I'm telling you, so am I. Williams picks up about five. Yeah, that's impressive. I've said it all night. The, the, the line on the, the Bentley side is incredible. It's like a legendary line there, and they're running right through it. Trips off the left side, I think, for the first time tonight. This is Gold to throw. Deep ball for Gold. It's, it's caught, and then it's a fumble, and the ball's loose on the ground, and Amon takes, recovers it. That was Deezer Pal, who was the intended receiver. Let's see what happened here. Was this a catch? Um, that's close. Two things. That's a that's a close call, and then the other part is I hope Bentley's hands are okay. <laughs> I tell you, he caught it. I don't think they're going to review. It. No, they are going to review this. There you go. There's Team Sandler. What what do you think, Zach, on this challenge? Not a catch. I don't think that's a catch. How about you, Ray? <laughs> well, we've got R sixty two here, so I I think a he wasn't looking at the video screen. That was <laughs> that was the cloth, and B it was clearly see there's catch. And oh, then a man. football move. That, I got to say that, I don't know. I don't know, Charles. I think that, After review, what are they going to do here? Did have wow, they're going to overturn the call. The 
And Miami's not charged a timeout. I got to say, out of all the times we've seen a challenge, that was one of the closest challenges. I, I, I couldn't make up my mind. Apparently, R62 had other plans. Wow. So Miami's going to keep possession. That would have been a huge play for Team Bentley. This is Pepper now back to pass, and he'll fire it outside, caught by Martino for a six-yard pickup to the 35. 7.14 to go in the third. So it looks like Pepper's uh, seven for nine, no touchdowns, no interceptions, about an 83 QB rating. So uh, hopefully he'll get it in the end zone here and uh, add this to his, to his stats. He's been efficient despite Dominguez's two sacks. Again, heavy look here on third down and four. There are, they are going to throw gold going down the middle. It's dropped, dropped by Tristan Carr, who just caught a 15-yard pass for a first down. And Team Bentley gets another stop. Yeah, that's not like Carr to drop that. That was right in there. So I'm sure he's uh, he's he's punching himself walking to the sideline. This has been a very slow-moving third quarter. Only four minutes into the third. Been some challenges, incompletions. Xander Gold now eight of 14. At one point, he was five of six. Has missed five of his last eight passes. The fair catch called for at the 14 yard line. Not the greatest of punts either. And Ron Cochran and Mike Dazzo have the ball back again. So uh, remind me of the rules here. We could we could see uh, quarterbacks back on the field again, even though they get like they, they, like Pepper comes out now. He can be replaced. Yeah, Pepper and Gold are on Team Sandlin, so they're interchangeable all night long. And then Cochran and Dazzo are on Team Bentley, and they're interchangeable all night long. This is Dazzo out to Colin Hart. Hart can do nothing. Colin Hart and Zach Sandlin have three rushing yards on seven carries. That's the shocker of the night right there. Yeah, that's an eye-opener. I really thought uh, Hart was going to have a big game today, both uh, rushing and catching it out of the backfield. Give you some more... Cam Cam, everybody loves the Cam Cam, and hopefully we'll get the stash cam back with Mike Daggs and the Andy Cam and all sorts of webcam action in season 13 this summer. It's gonna be a great season. Dazzo pass is caught for a first down on the 26 yard line. That's hauled in by Mike Daggs, his second uh, catch, and Ray uh, Bentley and his team has a first down. I believe they threw to him three times. That's his uh, second catch. 16 yards for Dags, 31 yards for Warfield, who's gone quiet. 18 for Falco, and that touchdown. First and 10 of the 26 handoff, and nothing doing again. Levant Irvine with his fourth solo tackle. Colin Hart buried in the backfield once more, and that's the second TFL for Irvine. I'm just, I'm scratching my head over this one, Cam. I mean, Hart and Sandlin are just, uh, have been uh, laid to rest. Halfway through the third, 17-7. Pro Bowl's getting interesting. Team Sandlin trying to hold on to the momentum. Two in the backfield, the handoff goes to Hart. Hart took a little bit of time getting going and only picked up a couple. Colin Hart just couldn't get out of his own blocker's way. No, he couldn't. Uh, <laughs> he was struggling to get down that field. I was uh, wanted a mercy tackle. 5:03, third quarter. Cochran five of ten. Dazzo five of seven. This is Dazzo back to pass. Dazzo will fire it out to Manning. He is well short of the first down, and that's a disappointing offensive series for Team Bentley. Uh, they just. They just couldn't get anything moving. And uh, they cannot take advantage of the recent punt from Team Sandlin. Yeah, I, uh, that was an incomplete pass, was it not? Yeah, I, yeah, I think they ruled him out of bounds. Right. Despite, Yeah, it was close. So punt is away for Dustin McRack. Sandlin to the 25. That's Malinishin up to the 27. Free agency madness continues tonight. Who's next? It's Zig Washington 
going to Vancouver at defensive tackle. Washington playing in New Orleans this past season. So Vancouver investing in their defensive line. We'll try to squeeze in one more as that's Tom Pepper, Zig's new teammate. And we won't get one more as we saw earlier tonight, Frank Champion going from Vancouver to Alaska as Pepper will drop the pass. He's in some trouble. Pepper hit as he threw and it's incomplete. And that's the second time tonight we've seen uh, Kevin Bain get involved and knock a pass straight up in the air, second and 10. Uh, yeah, he's a beast. Keep keep sending him. Keep feeding the Wolves. But <laughs> they got to they got to pressure that quarterback and uh, hopefully get a turnaround and get the ball back. Turnover, excuse me. 4:40 to go in the third. Second down at the 27. 4:41, third quarter. Pepper. Going to drop back to fire. Going to check it down. Nice tackle by Bolt in the open field. That was Martino just kind of sitting down in his soft zone. It'll bring up third down and eight and another opportunity for Team Bentley to get a stop. Yeah, I hate to keep uh, repeating myself, but this is a big stop for these guys. They need to get the ball back. I mean, uh, they show signs of life, but then uh, you know, Sandlin's team comes and throws a, a deep one down the field. Third and eight. This is gold out of the empty. We'll fire it outside. Can he turn the corner? He cannot. Brett Killian runs out of room on that team. Bentley side. Look at Bentley all fired up down there. Fourth down, and he'll get the ball back. I didn't know that you were that a... spry, Ray. <laughs> I believe the police are outside because I'm screaming so much. I'm so sorry if I get arrested. <laughs> if you get arrested on the air in the Pro Bowl, that would be the greatest Pro Bowl moment in league history. There's no better way to lose than to lose with style and grace and also a warrant. <laughs> is away from Team Salen. Team Bentley's hanging around. Every game in the SFL is different. And this one has been interesting just, just for the simple fact that Team Salen was running away from this and they just cannot seem to put the final nail in the coffin tonight. No, they can't. I mean, they've got. We haven't heard much from uh, from folks like Falco or, or Junior Senior or Optimus Klein. They're, they've basically disappeared. Three forty-two to go in the third. My dog has joined me in the studio. She's got a haircut. She's absolutely gorgeous. Colin Hart, check that. Zach Sandlin getting that carry for four. That's his best carry of the night. I think he has like seven total out of four carries. Yeah, it's a, it's a rough night on that. So only, Jer uh, only Jared McChesney has had any sort of decent night on the ground. He's averaging a little over five yards a carry out of the gun. 14 Bentley on second down and six. Cochran going to throw. Cochran just gets it rid, uh, rid of it. Oh, that's caught. How did he catch that? That's a first down. And a first down for Tiberius Bovine, the top tight end in SFL history in terms of receiving yards. And Cochran connects with a legend. <laughs> Bovine's also, I think he's the oldest guy on the field. He, ten years in the league. Much respect to uh, Bovine. First and ten at the 41. Team Bentley starting to move things once more. Hand off left side. Got a block. That's your ever scroll block of the game. And that's the first down for Zach Sandlin. And Team Bentley, what a beautiful block down the field. Let's get another look at it. Yeah, good blocking up front. He saw the hole. He hit it another, uh, another gear. And uh, after the first down, he finally got touched by somebody. Sir Chappelle was the one that got blocked out of your picture. First down at the 43. <laughs> Gib in the chat saying, Sandlin, what are you doing <laughs> against his own team and teammates? Dazzo's pass into traffic and nearly picked off. Dangerous throw as that one knocked away by Irvine. Dazzo tried to pull a Cochran there, trying to get that into Siege Falco. Irvine in the vicinity as well. Yeah, Dazzo isn't having a great night tonight. He's uh, got about a 55 completion percentage, five for nine. Um, you know, I, I, one of the things that will add that uh, percentage up is if he throws it more to uh, uh, to Hart. I've been looking for that, and I, we haven't been seeing that at all. 
That hit Levant Irvine in the helmet. He, he tap, <laughs> was half turned around, swatted him in the helmet. No, uh, somebody's going to have to get that. 2.05 to go, third quarter. Short throw on second down and 10 to make it a more manageable third down. That's Gabriel Manning with another catch. So third and five upcoming for Team Bentley, who's hanging around down 10. It looks like that was uh, Gabriel's fifth catch of the game. They were uh, moving down the field. This is a uh, third down that they're going to they're gonna need. It'll put them in field goal range if they cross the uh, 33 there. Four receivers. Cochran going to throw outside. Got to turn the corner. What a tackle in the open field. Preventing the first down. Crash Combs makes another huge play as junior senior the third as his first catch of the night. But it's one yard short of the sticks and... Right now, this would be a 50-yard field goal for Shark Tarkington if they wanted to attempt it. Right now, the offense is staying on the field and in the gun. Are they actually going to go for this? Certainly within Tarkington's range. And you can see the hard count out there. I think they're going to let this go down. Coach Bentley screaming from the sidelines, do it, do it. I think he was just trying to get him to jump offside. I can hear the sirens now. <laughs> so instead, it's a good decision. Tarkington will come out for a field goal. Bentley is now barking at Ron Cochran. Cochran says, man, do you know who I am? Do you know how many times I've beaten you and everybody else? <laughs> I'll yes, show you uh, the ring. Hello, this is uh, Officer Hamilton. I'm looking for Mr. Bentley. Do you know where I can find him? <laughs> he's, he's in the only house with power. Just, uh, yeah, just knock on that door. He's in the country with his mother. 50-yard field goal for Tarkington. Nails it, 17 to 10. It's a one-score game here in Miami. The Simulation Football League is brought to you in part by APM Music, Production Music Library, and Custom Music House. By Fuel, transforming SFL Media in 2019. By Harry's Razors, all you need for a close, comfortable shave. And by Quip, perfect oral care, delivered. Some beautiful shots here on the Emerald Coast as we get back to action and the return comes out to the 21 yard line for Aaron Arrington. Charles. I thought I saw your summer house there. One oh, my picks. summer house, did you? Did yes. <laughs> Only in my dreams. Charles Dockerty, Cameron Irvine uh, with you. And uh, some beautiful looks from Florida. Love having the Pro Bowl here in Miami. Closest team here, SFL team headquartered. Of course, this is Pride, Atlanta's around the area. Just a bit more north, four yard pickup. Slynn Shady with his fifth tackle, that's Reggie Streeter. Yeah, I think if I was uh, if I was coaching the Bentley side, I'd, right. I'd try and stay as aggressive as I could just to uh, keep them on their heels and, and force a turnover. Second and six, the third quarter is winding down. Team Bentley's going for a sensational comeback. This is Xander Gold, he'll fire it outside again. It's short of the sticks, third and two coming up. That's Deezer Powell with another reception. Catch number one. Catch number one for Deezer Powell. That's uh, that's shocking. Yeah, that's amazing. I, I honestly thought he had more than that. I had to go double check. And that's going to bring us to the end of the third quarter. Oh, one more play, actually. Gold got it off in time. Probably should have just held it because now it's going to be fourth down going into the fourth quarter. And I'm not sure why Gold was in such a hurry. But at any rate, 17 to 10. And Team Bentley's about to get the ball back. You're watching a one possession SFL Pro Bowl here on Twitch. Stay tuned.
95 viewers with us. We hope we're, we've been sounding uh, beautiful all night long as uh, the SFL continues to invest in its infrastructure and back into its community. As Team Sandlin will punt it away from the 33 yard line. That's Jackson on the return up to the 37. And I can't believe I'm saying this, Charles, but a touchdown here will tie the game for Team Bentley. <laughs> I want to see a deep, uh, a deep ball to Falco. He's been pretty quiet today. Bring out Falco. Cochran's going to start the drive for Team Bentley. Eight of 13, 58 yards, a touchdown, and a pick. Three receivers back to pass. Cochran will fire it short. Oh, nearly intercepted as Levant Irvine gets his hands on it again. That time it didn't hit him in the hands, or didn't hit him in the helmet, I should say. Warfield, four catches, six targets, but Team Bentley has done a much better job, or I, my apologies, Team Sandlin has done a much better job in the second right. half covering Warfield. Yeah, and Cochran's not playing like the Cochran we all know. 58 yards here in the Pro Bowl. Of course, yardage is hard to come by when you're splitting reps with everybody. There is Meundy's laundry on the field. The pass is caught. So that's probably going to be a first down. That's Colin Hart coming out of the backfield into Miami territory. You were just calling for that, Charles. Yes, finally, finally. And uh, the uh, KG veteran Cochran made use of, it looks like, the offsides on the defense and uh, had a free one down the field. Made the best of it. That's against Phil Hall. Carolina Skyhawk getting involved in tonight's proceedings. Let's see if we can get a free agent signing quickly while we're waiting. Blake Hamrick going to Atlanta. Cornerback, 68.68 value. Blake Hamrick, or Hamrick to Atlanta tonight. Looks like he took Lee Pato's place on the roster. Yeah, that guy, uh, I don't know about that guy. Yeah, he got drummed out. <laughs> Warfield picks up three. Dazzo's, or check that, Cochran. Maybe it was Dazzo. Golly. It's the, <laughs> it's the fourth quarter. No, it was Cochran. Nine of... Nine, nine, who's not playing in the game? I think that was him. Cochran is in now. Second and seven at the 43. Every single year I put in this. Hand off to Sandlin, and he will churn ahead for six to the Miami 37 yard line. 37 yards away from tying this game, 10 minutes and counting. I can feel the momentum building. This is a, a great run up the middle and Cochran's in there and I think he's uh, he's just been waiting for the fourth quarter to start getting, uh, getting dangerous. Third one at the 37. Oh, what a hit! And he still won't get the first down. That was Sandlin laying the wood on Avery King. And somehow, Miami ends up getting the stop on that play. What a defensive effort. <laughs> that was a huge stop. I thought that uh, after Sandlin's first uh, hit, I thought he was going to take it across the, uh, across the line for the first down. Well, here we go. Another fourth and one. This time, though, out to, they're going to go for it. This is Cochran. He's in trouble. Avoid the sack. Ron Cochran, first down Amazing. to Mike Daggs. The three-time champion makes the biggest play of the day, and Daggs has a first down. That's amazing. That's a veteran for you right there. Overcomes the pass rush and throws it to uh, to Daggs for the first down. Looks like that's his uh, third, third completion, maybe his fourth completion. Yeah, and 75% of the time, he catches it all the time. Sandlin up to uh, 29 yards on seven carries. Pass, cut again, no, he dropped it. Dropped it, going to the ground. Junior, senior, the third. Had an opportunity to get him inside the 10. It's incomplete. Well, it looks like uh, Sandlin's on their, Team Sandlin's on their heels there. Cock getting into a rhythm, and uh, that does not look good for the Sandlin defense. E.J. DeCue applying pressure, or at least attempting to. But Cochran has been outstanding. This is Dazzo back in, I believe. Nope, still Cochran. They're riding with Cochran here in the fourth quarter. Two receivers, one to either side on a second down. They're going to hand it off up the middle. There goes Sandlin. Sandlin picks up eight to the 20, and the MVP is showing up in the fourth. That's that's a scary sight, seeing him come up in the middle. If I was a middle linebacker seeing him, <laughs> I'd have nightmares. That's a big man. Third down and two at the 20. 
827 and counting. Handoff, penalty. That's Hart for the first down. And I believe that's gonna be offsides again, so they're gonna wave it off. And Team Bentley, oh, that's gonna, it's gonna be clipping. The infamous clipping in the Pro Bowl. And it's on Siege Falco. Right in scoring position. That is a gut punch. No, oh, that's yeah, that's a that's a right. gut punch and a punch in the face. Third but if anybody can come out of it, it's it's, uh, it, it's going to be Cochran. That's right. And it's third and 14 now, way back at the 31. And the throw is in trouble. Cochran goes down outside of field goal range. And Team Sandlin gets a monster stop. Denzel Mavericks got two and a half sacks to lead all defensive linemen. And another rookie stepping up, Cam, to stop the drive and uh, get the ball back to uh, Team Sandlin. Wow, so they had, think about the string of events. They have a first and goal. The pass is dropped. It ends up being a fourth and 21 all the way back at the 39 and Max Jackson loses it off his helmet and into the end zone. And Team Sandler will get it on the 20 yard line with 7.23 to go. Yeah, I think, uh, I think somebody's gonna need to fan off uh, Coach Bentley there. I'd like to hear what his thoughts are. What you got, Need Ray? someone to, to change my vomit bucket and <laughs> quickly. <laughs> so, somebody get that man a new vomit bucket. I think that was the quote of the night. <laughs> <laughs> I have to agree with you. Pass over the middle is complete. That's Xander Gold again connecting. And on the reception was Tristan Carr. That is catch number two for Carr for 21 yards, second and four. Under seven to go. Team Sandlin has not scored in the second half. Handoff up the middle and just short of the first down. What a great tackle by Slim Shady on McChesney to bring up third and inches. It looks like Mc McChesney is averaging about uh, 5.4. Carry, not bad. Uh, he's quietly got 54 yards on 10 carries. 6.32 to go in the fourth. Third and inches at the 30. Three in the backfield. Can they get it with the heavy package? They will not! Reggie Streeter is blown up in the backfield as that tackle for loss made by Camden Hoffman of the San Francisco Sharks. It's fourth down and another punt for Team Sandlin. We get the ball back, we get to see Falco again. This is, uh, this is turning out to be quite a game. I'm loving it. Maybe we can get into the triple digits here for the Pro Bowl. We're up to 97 viewers. We've had great viewership all night. Thanks everyone for being here. As Jackson returns it up to the 37 yard line, it's time for some more free agent signings. Our next one is Jack Brown going to Charleston. You just saw it and there's another bombshell, Jared Willis is going to Queen City. He is the new Queen City running back, the former Chicago Wildcats. So Jack Brown, a veteran of Mexico City, goes to Charleston. There it is again at 65.86 at linebacker. And then Jared Willis signing in Queen City as Cochran's in trouble. How did he get rid of that ball? It's incomplete, trying to get it out to Bobine. Lee Du applying more pressure. So now the question, Charles, is where is Ashley Odom going? <laughs> I'm I'm also looking for uh, you know, Chicago or uh, Sioux Falls to sign someone. I don't think they've signed anyone yet, have they? Yeah, they got a lot of re-signings in the pike, but re-signings don't uh, don't pay the bills. Everybody wants to know what's going on in free agency, so we'll get the we'll get them all out eventually. Is that run up the middle from? Uh, uh, McChesney, I was, I didn't think it was McChesney at first because he only got one yard. That's because it was Sandlin. <laughs> Sorry, Zach. Didn't mean to throw shade like that. 
Third and nine at the 38. This is critical, 5.20 to go. This is Cochran's pass. It's caught for a first down at the 49 yard line. Tiberius Bovine comes up huge again and it's another first down for Team Bentley. One great veteran to another. It looks like uh, Ron Cochran now has got uh, over 80 yards, well, coming up on 90 yards, 57 completion percentage, which is kind of low, but he's, uh, he's getting his rhythm. 11 of 19 and Bovine's up to 18 yards receiving. The leading receiver is still Warfield with 34 yards. This is Cochran going long. It's knocked away. Very good defense down the field. Beautifully played by Brady Clark, another Oklahoma City renegade who's been quiet up until now. And speaking of quiet up until now, how you doing, Charles? I'm sorry, I had a mic issue there. Sorry, I'm back. I am back. How are you loving your first game in primetime, huh? Oh, it's great. It's great. It's fun. Thank you for the honor. 447 left. Second and 10 at the 49. Two receivers to the top of the screen. Deep ball, Cochran. Wide open. It's caught by Manning. Spun away from another. Gets down to the Miami 27-yard line. And Manning's got a first down for Team Bentley. Yeah, it looks like he, he was probably about five or ten yards behind the defensive back there. Cochran threw it up high, right into uh, the hands of, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, right into the hands of receiver Manning, and he's uh, they're in field goal range, I believe, right now. Manning spun backwards, almost a little bit delusional, as Warfield taunting Kaz McFly, his teammate, down at the bottom of the screen. They're defending each other right now. Three receivers here. This is Dazzo back in the game, and that pass is caught. What a throw to the 13-yard line. Warfield hauls it in. Sir Chappelle on the tackle. Another Dazzo to Warfield connection. Team Bentley is in the red zone. Yeah, it would be great if they uh, sent a note up to us when they made the quarterback change. Looks like uh, Cochran's back in now. Man, they are ju they just shuffle them in and out, rapid fire. It is so exciting right now. 3.48 to go in the fourth. Team Bentley trying to complete a 17-point comeback to tie the game. This is Cochran to pass. Cochran, end zone. Oh, it's Ooh. low and nearly intercepted. Sir Chappelle was the man who nearly came down with it, but that ball was about four yards underthrown. Yeah, that, was, that, that looked like a duck coming out of his hands. I don't know if it was tipped at the line or what, but that was... Uh... Not a good throw at all. So on the 13 yard line, a chance for Team Bentley once more. Cochran throws it out to a wide open Zach Sandlin who will get into the end zone for a touchdown and the MVP from the three time champion. It's a one point game. It, you know, you, you got to play best at the end of the game when it's needed. And uh, Cochran stepping up, he threw, throwing it to the wide, uh, excuse me, the, the running back there. We were looking for more of that at the beginning of the game. Now we're uh, we're seeing it now, and they're uh, scoring, and it looks like uh, they're going to tie the game here. Ray Bentley, it may not be twenty-eight to three, but you're an extra point away from tying it, my friend. And I've gotten five new buckets too. Every everyone's been so nice. Oh, uh, hold on, I got it. <laughs> Extra point. Dazzo's the holder for his teammate Tarkington. Nearly a block, but the extra point is good. It is tied at 17. Coach Sandlin, what's the sideline like right now? Nah. Uh... <laughs> I'm, I don't know what is going on right now. Are you feeling the pains of coaching? Very much so. <laughs> Very much so. I don't know what happened to the team that was playing in the first quarter because they've apparently taken leave and are out doing I don't know what. They need to come back because we have a ball game all of a sudden. From the three out to the 26-yard line, that return by Arrington. None of the returners have gotten anything exciting going. We've also, it's been a very quiet night for Merrick Itera, who uh, is all over special teams, but hasn't done anything special yet tonight, but 3.29 to go in the fourth quarter. Talking about MVPs earlier, Charles, the race is now really tightening up. We'll get your thoughts on that in a minute. 3.29 to go in the fourth. Handoff coming left, and Reggie Streeter gets some room, picks up eight yards. 
I'm looking down the line. Uh, 140 yards, two touchdowns for Gold, but now 117 yards, two touchdowns for Cochran. Man, tough sledding out there. 48 yards for Warfield. Yeah, I think who, whatever team wins, I think it needs to go to, to the quarterback. Second and two at the 34. Hand off again, and nothing doing. What a stop by Team Bentley. Clapping his hands, getting up Christopher Colon, saying, look, I can clap like my coach. It hurts, third and one. So the question is, Cam, has there ever been an overtime Pro Bowl game? <sighs> Was it the, the rookie showcase or the Pro Bowl last year went to overtime, but I can't remember which. I don't think he got the first down. Williams did not get the first down. They're going to have to punt. A Qantas shine saves the chain game from working hard. Yeah, huge tackle by Shine. Uh, he, he tackled the beast in the backfield and brought him down. That's uh, That was quite an impressive tackle. The rookie showcase was overtime. Thank you, Crash Combs. I knew it was one or the other. That was a very exciting sh rookie showcase. Coming up on the two-minute. What? It's blocked. They blocked the punt. And it's recovered at the 22-yard line. Unbelievable. Maragai Terra does it in the waiting seconds of the Pro Bowl. And Team Bentley's got the ball on the 22-yard line. He's a punt blocking machine, and it's amazing. You said his name a couple of a series ago. He just stepped up there and, uh, and nailed the ball down. They got the ball back. It was incredible. All oh, the momentum has swung Team Bentley's direction. Two receivers top of the screen. This pass from Cochran is caught for an eight-yard pickup down to the 14, and we've hit the two-minute warning presented by Quip and Coach Bentley cannot believe it. You're watching the SFL Pro Bowl on Twitch TV. Second and two for Team Bentley, handoff. And Sandlin breaks a tackle. Touchdown, Zach Sandlin and Team Bentley. I can't believe it. <laughs> They're playing like night and day from the first quarter, Cam. That was a great run by Sandlin. And a lot of, lot of good blocking up front. A huge hole. I almost got brought down there in the backfield. But you see his, his true power and strength as he takes it into the end zone. Avery King having a tough night. Zach Sandlin has exploded onto the scene here. He's got two touchdowns tonight one on the ground one through the air he has 68 all-purpose yards and that i believe leads all players no mcchesney has 75 but no touchdowns for mcchesney the extra point is good from tarkington and ray bentley's team has scored 24 consecutive points and now has the lead Wow, Charles Doherty, Cameron Irvine here with you in Miami for the Pro Bowl. This game was kind of quiet in the first half. It was 10-0 for a long time. And this game has gotten really interesting and turned into maybe a classic as Arrington can only get it out to the 21-yard line. And Team uh, Sandlin is gonna have to regroup. Zach, I gotta bring you in here. What do you wanna see out of your offense? What do you wanna go to? We gotta get something going. Obviously our running game's not working. I don't know why we're not throwing the ball more. I gotta talk to my offense coordinator and see what in the world he has decided to do. We've got two great quarterbacks and great wide receivers. Why aren't we using them? We're about to use them now. Gold and Pepper out there, 150 to go. That pass from Gold is complete, but it's only a three-yard pickup. They're going no huddle. That pass caught by Steven Hacker. That is Hacker, the rookie's first catch of the night on his first target. Back to throw again, deep ball down the field. It is caught, and a broken tackle in midfield. A second broken tackle, and that's a first down and a timeout for Deezer Powell, and Miami is back in business. Yeah, that's Deezer Powell. Looks like that's his fourth catch of the game and probably the biggest catch of the game for uh, for Team Sandlin to get them across the 50-yard line. 
Marikai Tara with the tackle. 92 seconds to go. And Team Salmon. Like they've only passed to their tight ends twice, so maybe they'll uh, they'll pass to the tight end on this series. Yeah, look forward here. Dags and, or check that, Pratchard and Wooding. Pass from Pepper is caught. And that's Pratchard, and forgive me, I meant Wooding and Tristan Carr, but uh, Rich Pratchard with his first reception. So all of a sudden, Miami getting Pratchard and Hacker involved in the mix. Yeah, they got. They have to score here. They got one minute, 29 seconds, right. and uh, this is a, a big defense they're going up against. And uh, if I was uh, Team Bentley, I'd, I'd be bringing the heat. Second down and seven at the 47-yard line. Three receivers. Back to pass. Pepper. It's caught for a first down to Tristan Carr at the 21-yard line with 1.20 to go. What a throw under duress for Tom Pepper. Yeah, Cam, I think you need to go to Vegas. Every time you call somebody's name, they uh, they make a big play. So uh, uh, who's going to catch the next the next pass here? Well, they're going three backs here. They got eight in the box. Does Team Bentley... Three in the backfield, gonna throw, in trouble, and set. And now, no huddle in about the worst possible moment as Xander Gold trying to operate the offense. Second and 14, Team Bentley bearing down. Fires it outside to Streeter. Streeter is not gonna be able to get out of bounds and they gotta burn another timeout. It's third and 11. What a disastrous last couple of plays for Miami. Yeah, that was great play on the defense, keeping the uh, the carrier in bounds and make him call, use a timeout here. 400 bits from Ram Voice, Ashley Jackson, loving this awesome game, and we're having fun here, bringing it to you. What a ball game! Third down and 11 at the 45. This ball go to the end zone. One-handed catch to the one-yard line. They're out of timeouts. It's caught by Powell. What an amazing catch. I didn't think he was going to get that. I actually thought that was going to be an interception, but uh, outstanding catch by uh, Deezer. Xander Gold to Deezer Powell. The Pharaoh to Pharaoh connection. Gets Team Sandlin down to the one-yard line with 39 seconds to go. What a game. This is a, one of the best games all season. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely crazy. This is Xander Gold with an empty backfield under center with 39 seconds left. His pass is to the end zone. It's intercepted. Oh. Team Bentley and Camden Hoffman of the Sharks has just put the game away. <laughs> that, was, that was the defensive play of the game. I think that's his first interception, but he's had a couple pass deflections, a couple tackles for loss. Solid game, but that right there was the defensive play of the game. Camden Hoffman gonna win the game for Team Bentley. Team Sandlin is out of timeouts, down 17 to nothing. I've never seen anything like it. Ron Cochran, Mike Dazzo, Zach Sandlin, and the rest of the Team Bentley crew who had 36 yards of offense in the first half is gonna win the Pro Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I think they what they do 14 unanswered points is that right they were down 17 to 10 at one point correct well they were down 17 nothing at one point that's right that's right <laughs> 17 nothing at half 24 unanswered points all in the second half it was a tale of two halves in the Pro Bowl that's and amazing. all the SFL fans in Miami go home disappointed as team Bentley in his coaching debut gets a victory Somebody clean the buckets. Man, do they even really need to hire Steven as an offensive coordinator? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, Ron came in, Ron Cochran came in and yep. uh, really put the, put the team on his, his shoulders. He really did. Those are the final numbers, 106 yards more total offense for Miami than Houston. The time of possession ended up being almost even. And what a game what a Pro Bowl game I mean it looked like a dud at halftime that was amazing yeah it was uh definitely amazing I uh I can't get enough I mean it looks like Sandlin and uh 
to some extent, Hart really uh, caught caught fire on the, in the fourth quarter as well. I still would go with uh, Cochran if we're picking MVPs. Cochran definitely led him back. 14 of 24, 135 yards, two touchdowns, and one interception for a QBR of 84.5. Only Tom Pepper finished with a better QBR, 12 of 15 for 95 yards. Your leading receiver tonight, well, first on the ground, McChesney had 65 yards rushing. Sandlin, 50 yards rushing and a touchdown. He also had a receiving touchdown. Max Jackson finishes with 10 total tackles. Sir Chappelle was seven. Alex Dominguez, three sacks tonight for Houston, two and a half sacks for Maverick of Miami. And look at that, Cochran staring Denzel Maverick in the face as he throws that touchdown. Yeah, that was, that was pretty cool how he covered up the ball too. He, he wasn't Sandlin came to life. I may have missed the receiving. There it is, Brett Killian. 72 yards and a touchdown today. Jamal Wooding finishes. Here's the play of the game right here. 41 yards and a touchdown for Wooding. Hoffman stepped in front of that ball that was intended for Jamal Wooding. But he was doubled up. And your player of the game tonight is going to be Zach Sandlin. Zach Sandlin, the MVP, takes home the Pro Bowl MVP with 62 all-purpose yards and two touchdowns on a very balanced night of SFL action around the league. And we'll leave you with final Pro Bowl stats and, and thoughts from uh, our winning coach, Ray Bentley, and uh, also to Charles Dockerty here in the booth with you. Uh, these are your team stats here. Just 11 first downs for Houston. They score all 24 points in their first half. Coach Bentley, are you still here with us? You just won the Pro Bowl, my friend. I don't really know what's going on right now. I'm I'm so beyond beside myself at how well all the guys perform that that I can't even put on my idiot uh, mask. That I'm I promised myself I wouldn't cry, but and I won't. But it's just <laughs> these guys. They took to the field. They they heard the clicking. And they knew it was time for them to start clicking. And I couldn't be prouder of all the guys who, who took the field for Team Bentley. Look at that balance. And to finally break that Pro Bowl curse. Oof. That's right. A balance Gosh. across the board. McChesney was the best running back all night. But, man, Zach Sandlin gave him a run for his money. Ended up winning the Pro Bowl MVP. Killian and Warfield end up with six catches each. Nobody had over 100 yards. But just about everybody had a catch except for Optimus Klein who despite having Ron Cochran on his team, uh, just couldn't find the space tonight. Defensively, yeah, that's, 10. That's gonna be an uncomfortable ride home. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Especially, <laughs> well, they won the game, so I'm sure. Well, yeah, but. Yes, if they would have lost the game, that would have been an uncomfortable ride home for Sir. Sir Chappelle, seven solo, two assisted, and then Avery King, well, he was everywhere tonight. Some good, some bad, five solo, five assisted tackles. This evening, Jeff Malinishin finishes with five as well. So does Takes, so does Shine. Balance night all around. Dylan Rowland had four. Kickers were good. Nothing super big on special teams except for Marikai Terra's block punt in a tie game that set up Zach Sandlin for what ended up being the game-winning touchdown. Charles, your final thoughts on this unbelievable Pro Bowl that we ended up witnessing tonight before we send everyone home wondering who all the other free agents are out there that signed today. That, it was such an exciting game. It was an honor doing a game with you. Uh, one of the things that, that really jumped out to me was how the rookies uh, in the Pro Bowl really, really, uh, you know, stood out, I think, and, uh, and did a great job. I'm also curious to hear uh, who Coach Bentley's going to give the game ball to. Go ahead, Ray. Give a give you out your game ball here before we head off the air. I mean, that's a real tough one, but I've got to give it to Zach Sandlin. I mean, this is a guy who stepped up to to coach the Pro Bowl and was his own player on on my team, and you know, he's been a hell of an opponent. Pardon my language, classy all the way, which is the exact opposite of me. So I'll take the trophy, but Zach, that ball's for you. Let, hey, let me just say there are expletives. <laughs> In our 
broadcast channel. They are being censored right now, but Zach, very upset that Ray Bentley is now trolling Sandlin, giving Sandlin the game ball for beating Team Sandlin. That, I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to say. That's about as good of a, of a way to end a broadcast as we could possibly have. Charles, you got any final thoughts? What a wacky night. No, it was a great game, and hats off to both coaches. Uh, was, you know, they, they did a great job, put a lot of work into it. They're both classy guys, and uh, it, it's an honor uh, being able to share uh, the booth with them tonight. Coming up later this week and next week, Thursday, the Rookie Showcase. Wednesday, the Schedule Release Show. The Schedule Release Show will have Michael Torello and Mike Daggs with me. The Rookie Showcase, I suppose, will be yours truly. And who knows, maybe a guest analyst, Charles, might be in studio. We'll find out. We'll figure it all out. But for now, what a game from Miami. We're going to go out and party. 24-17, Team Bentley. Get that vomit bucket out, Ray. We're going downtown 24-17. This has been the Simulation Football League presented by APM Music. Good night, everybody.